I, I'm also intrigued by Ryan Noda too, because I mean, he started out really strong, but then he pretty struggled, you know, pretty much throughout the rest of spring training after that opening weekend. Uh, but his defense looks pretty good. He looks like an athlete out there. Um, what, what do you, what do you think about, I mean, I, I think he deserved to make the team and just get a shot, but what are you kind of expecting out of him? Or do you think he's kind of a uh, question mark to be, to be figured out? You know, the strikeouts were, uh, were high. Um, yeah. obviously I think, uh, I mean, the walk, the walk totals were high too. And neither one of those is necessarily out of character for what he has done in the minors. Mm-hmm. The strikeout numbers in spring were, it was a much higher rate than he has had in the minors. Uh, I think they're, I think they're hedging that that's going to come down uh, as they go into the season and they didn't want to make a decision to, uh, to break without him just based on um, sort of a limited sample size in spring training. So, you know, they're going to go into the season with him. Uh, It sounds like one thing that I was a little bit surprised about yesterday was uh, like you said, I mean, defensively he's looked, he's looked pretty solid over there. And the other option is Jesus Aguilar who has, uh, you know, he's, he's played a decent first base in the past. He just looks like such a big guy, dude. Like, he's just yeah, – you, like you don't look at him and guy. think yeah. this is yeah. going to be, like, the most athletic first baseman out there. Um, yeah. Yeah. But one thing that uh, Mark got to say yesterday in the pregame scrum when we asked about Noda and how you're going to use him was that uh, right now it looks like Aguilar is going to get uh, more playing time at, at first base or get a majority of the playing time at first base. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what the breakdown is going to be, but, uh, but that – you know, and you you would assume Noda as the left-handed hitter maybe gets starts against righties, and you yeah. face more righties. But he said Noda could also get some starts at DH, so maybe you know, maybe Ag- I, I. I'm surprised Aguilar's not the primary DH, and you know, Noda's the primary first baseman. Yeah, you know, if you're facing a right-handed, you're facing a right-handed pitcher, I mean, that would seem like the the opt the opportunity to have Noda at first base and Aguilar at DH, if unless they actually do look at Aguilar as as the better defensive first base yeah or at least a, a good defensive uh first base and it's all, it's all somebody that they are confident in over there but that's what he said uh, as far as how they're going to start out with so see how it kind of how it actually plays out 